Learn to listen to your thoughts. Kevin, what are you talking about? I have thoughts of killing myself, cutting my wrist, looking at pornography, stealing, cursing people out, doing witchcraft and stuff like that. Are you telling me that I should listen to my thoughts? Look now, when it comes down to demonic stuff, why listen to it? Why do it? If thoughts come to your mind that are demonic, don't do it, right? So if something is not demonic, if it won't have a bad result, that thought may be coming from God. There was something I prayed about more than one time and I feel it was an issue for me. Maybe a small issue, but <laughs> I was a bit disturbed about it. And one day, something came to my mind. Maybe while I was praying, and <laughs> there is no way I could have thought about what came to my mind at that time. And it was the solution for my problem. Look now. What is the chance of me continuing to pray about something? Then I guess I can say after a while, all of a sudden, the solution came to my mind. So is that me? Because if I knew, why would I pray so much about it in, in the past? Learn to listen to your thoughts. I believe there were times probably when I would be doing other things. And at times, certain things may come to my mind, Kevin. Not so much, you know, <laughs> thoughts telling my name or someone telling, calling my name. But sometimes I have thoughts, do this. Do this for that person. Go tell this person that. And sometimes I may wait and, and see if that is really coming from God or not. Because I believe demons can make it seem like it is something you should do, but if you are unsure, wait, and maybe you may receive confirmations. I think many times when I received thoughts that were of God, and when I chose to do it, I think many of the time, the end result came out good. Learn to listen to your thoughts. Yes, I believe God can communicate with us and more than one way, but I think, and I could be wrong, I think one of the ways God can communicate with us is through our thoughts. So listen to your thoughts. Yes, throw out the demonic stuff. Yes, test the fruit. Before you do something, you may have to wait. Sometimes I wait. Yes, I am receiving a thought to do this, but I am not sure if I should. So let me wait. Let me wait to see 
if there are any confirmations. Let me wait to see if that thought continues to come to my mind. Let me wait and see if there is any clarification on whatever is coming to my mind. Sometimes you may have to wait, but ultimately what? Listen to your thoughts. Listen to your thoughts. You know, you may say to yourself, Kevin, you know, God doesn't speak to me and blah, 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 blah. He may not speak with his actual voice to you, but he may be speaking to you in some other way. So can you force him like, God, use your natural voice and you can't do that, can you? I guess you can ask. But learn to listen to your thoughts. Am I perfect at it? Is Uncle Kev like a genius in knowing God's voice? Of course not. Sometimes I get confused. But ultimately, much of the time, I believe listening to your thoughts can go really well for you. So judge your thoughts. I am not saying to do evil. So if you have evil thoughts, don't do it. If your thoughts align with what the Bible say, there is a chance that it may be God telling you or wanting you to do it. So let me stop here. God bless you.